Mustang Studio is located conveniently in the lobby of Moffitt Library. It is available to current students, faculty, and staff. You must complete this training to have access to this audio recording studio. After you've completed this training, your information will be updated in our system and you will be able to reserve Mustang Studio by clicking on Reserve a Study Room on the library's home page. Use the Location drop-down menu and select Podcast Studio. You'll be able to book the room for four hours up to two weeks in advance. When coming in for your reserved time, go to the circulation desk near the lobby to check in and get the key to the studio. The studio door is unusual. To open the door, insert the key and turn it counterclockwise to the left and push the switch underneath to the right. The door will lock automatically when closed. Mustang Studio is equipped with four microphones, four headsets, a sound mixer, and a computer with editing software. Jiggle the mouse or press any button on the keyboard to bring the computer out of sleep mode. The monitor should ask for a password for the user, MSU Guest. The password is also MSU Guest. The power button for the mixer is on the back corner. Tap the X in the top right corner of the touchscreen to exit the menu and bring up the sound mixing display. The four knobs above the touchscreen control the volume you hear through the headsets. The four leftmost slides control the volume picked up through the microphones. The headsets and microphones are all numbered in the same way. Facing the television from the editing table, number one is on the right closest to you. Number two is on the right next to the wall. Number three is closest to you on the left. Number four is on the left next to the wall. You do not have to use the headsets. Mute any microphones you are not using. You can move microphone number one to the editing station for ease of use. To record on the MixCast, you will need an SD card. You can bring your own or check one out at the circulation desk. If you bring your own, we recommend a 32 gig. Insert the SD card at the back of the mix cast just above the cables. The display will now show how much recording time is available on the SD card. When you are ready, press the record button above the display. Pressing the record button again will pause recording. When you are done, press the stop button. A message will ask if you want to stop. Press yes. At the monitor, double click on the Tascam Podcast Editor icon. Click on Read from Mixcast. If more than one recording has been made, select the title of the one you want to edit. Depending on the length of your recording, this could take some time to load. The editing display will show all the tracks. If you want to edit your recording, it might be a good idea to delete or reduce any track you did not use. Hit the arrow in the upper left to play your recording. If you want to cut out some dead air or garbled speech, click on the track you want to edit. Click the marker and move it over the unwanted section. Click Split. Make sure the selection you want removed is marked. Click on Delete or Remove. When you are finished editing your recording, hit the menu icon in the upper left. Click on Export. Click on MP3. Click on Execute. You can now save the file to your own personal thumb drive, or you can save it to the computer. If you save the file to the computer, you can use Google Chrome to access your email or a podcast site like Spotify or Amazon Music for direct upload. There's also another way to record. Do not insert an SD card into the MixCast. You will not be recording on it. Adjust your microphone and headset levels. The MixCast will still control the recording levels. Bring up the podcast editor on the monitor. Click on New Project. Enter a project name. Click Create. The editor will display all tracks. Reduce any you are not going to use. Click on the circle at the top. You are now recording directly to the editor. 
Click the circle again to stop. You can now edit, save, and or send your recording as previously instructed. Before leaving Mustang Studio, simply exit the editor. The monitor will automatically enter sleep mode in a minute or two. If you have used a thumb drive, eject it. Press the power button on the MixCast. A message will appear in the display asking if you really want to power off. Click Yes. If you have used an SD card, remove it from the MixCast. Just press the end lightly and it will eject. If you have moved anything, return it to its original position. Collect all your belongings. Turn off the light. Return the key to circulation. If you checked out an SD card, make sure you also return it. 